What I wanted to run through in this particular video is what to do if you suddenly find that Premiere is giving you a message saying media offline. Now you'll get this media offline message if you've moved your project file from one computer to another let's say, or if you've moved some of the files that Premiere is working with, aka maybe the video files or you've moved an mp3 or you've moved a graphic file or something like that and once you go back into the Premiere project file Premiere is going to ask where that file is and if you don't tell it it's going to display this error message saying media offline. So just to give you a quick look at what this error message is that I'm talking about I'll just fire up an example piece of work that doesn't know where the source files currently are. Okay, so Premiere is launched and this is the dialog box that will ask you or prompt you uh, to point to where the files have been moved to. Now a lot of people just go ahead and cancel this and think, oh, we don't need to worry about this, we'll just cancel it and hopefully everything will work out for the best. Well, unfortunately, if you do this, then Premiere still doesn't know where the files it needs to work with have been moved to and what you'll end up with is this media offline message you see up in the top right preview window. So rather than just hitting cancel, close down the project and we'll launch it again. And this time when we launch it, when Premiere brings up the dialog box, we're going to actually point to where these files have been moved to. Alright, so here's the dialog box again and instead of skipping things or cancelling things, we're actually going to point Premiere to see where our actual video file is. In this case it's asking, where is the file Swinburne 30 second add, shot 23. Now I happen to know it's in this widescreen power 30 second ad footage folder. Here are all the files for the 30 second ad. And the shot it's asking about is shot 23. So I'll select that and then hit the select button. And Premiere is normally reasonably smart about the rest of the files. It won't necessarily ask you for any of the other video files because you've shown it one. It will work out where the others are based on that first one you've shown it. But audio files it will treat as something different. So now it's asking where is Romeo and Juliet a challenge, which is the mp3 file that's used in this particular assignment. So again, I need to navigate to where that file is. And in this instance, it's in the student's work folder. I'll select that. And after a moment, Premiere will load up the project. And once it's done so, it will actually be able to see all those video files once more and my project will come back to life. So if this does happen to you, don't hit the cancel button, don't hit the skip button, work out where the files are and tell Premiere where the files are actually located. Now the best way to avoid having this sort of issue is by keeping all your media in the one folder, including your project file. So when you start working on your 30 second ad for example, store your project file in a folder called 30 second ad and then store all the video files within that folder as well and store all the audio files and graphic files and anything you're working with within that same folder and that way if you need to move that folder for whatever reason all the video and audio and project files come along for the ride and you're not going to run into as many issues with respect to media going offline.